In this video, we discuss robots and robotics. There's a lot of hype and excitement around the emerging technologies of artificial intelligence and machine learning, and what it could mean for the future of robotics and automation. However, there is also a lot of confusion surrounding these terms because they're often used interchangeably. So what does each term actually mean and how do they relate to each other? John McCarthy was the American computer scientist who coined the term artificial intelligence back in 1956. He said, for the present purpose, the artificial intelligence problem is taken to be that making a machine behave in a way that would be called intelligent if a human was so behaving. In broad terms, it describes any machine programmed to simulate intelligent behaviours. We'll look at artificial intelligence in more detail in the two videos listed at the bottom of the screen. Arthur Samuel, a pioneer in computer gaming and AI, coined the term machine learning a few years later in 1959. And he said this was the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. This makes machine learning, therefore, a subset of AI. In other words, it's one way to achieve artificial intelligence. It's the science of training a device or application to perform a task and improve its own capabilities. The term robotics often gets thrown around in association with AI. But not all robots are smart. So what is a robot? Well, it's a machine that carries out work by itself by following a set of programmed rules. Broadly speaking, we can say that robots fall into two categories. We have so-called dumb robots. They simply repeat the same task over and over. There's no concept here of artificial intelligence being involved. A great example are the robots in a car assembly factory. Then we have what we can refer to as smart robots. These are machines trained to learn, adapt, and carry out progressively more complex tasks. For example, a robot designed to beat a human at playing the game of chess. In very simple terms, you can think of the broad characteristics of all robots as falling into three categories. One, they have a mechanical structure or a framework. Two, they have a variety of electrical components, such as possibly sensors, microprocessors and actuators. And three, that they're programmable. That's everything you need to know so far. So pause this video and take some notes.